Welcome to another update for my 3D printer build. I just got the Z-axis working and I'll show you how it works and how I put it together. So first off, I had to somehow mount the open rails V-slot bars of extrusion here, if we can get the autofocus to work, and basically I needed to space them out properly. So I designed in, in, in SolidWorks and printed these mounts and basically they just fit in like that and uh, and they they're perfectly contoured on the other side to fit the V-rail, the V-slot aluminum. So I printed eight of those and I mounted them all with uh, with the aluminum brackets that I bought. And in order to motorize this, I printed this mount for the Z-stepper motor, which has an integrated lead screw. And this mount is great. It, it keeps the motor really tight against the frame, which I really like. So it's fairly robust. And I also printed this part, which holds the lead screw nut to, uh, to the part of the frame that's supposed to move. So each, each one of these V-slot aluminum rails has three V-wheels attached to it, and they're spaced out pretty nicely, so this should be incredibly sturdy. And it actually is. So you'll see the frame move because I put some feet on that, are, that, that kind of allow it to move. But I can move this, I mean I can push this, and uh, it doesn't move relative to the rest of the frame. And I even, I mean this is so solid that I only had one motor working and moving this and it could move the whole other side perfectly well. So I'm really happy with how the, uh, how the Z-axis came out and how sturdy the open rail stuff is, but it's just really solid. And I'll show you the Z-axis moving in a second, but I also wanted to show you those feet that I mentioned. I 3D printed these feet right here to uh, dampen some of the vibration so that instead of instead of um, the frame vibrating instead you just get it wobbling back and forth and it's not going to wobble the table either now and it it does a pretty good job of uh, allowing the frame to wobble back and forth so that worked out pretty well and in order to show you the z-axis moving I've hooked it up to a ramps board and I have Repetier host right here. So I'll click the button a few times. It's still a little bit noisy and I think that's because I don't have the spacing of this part quite right, but it works just fine. I'm 3D printing right now uh, a spacer for this so it, it should be a little bit better and, and not as noisy. I think that this is pulling uh, the, the whole bar slightly inwards, so I think a spacer will help that out. But otherwise, I'm, I'm incredibly happy with this. I can hold down on it and uh, it's really strong. It works great and it moves incredibly smoothly. You can actually see, if the autofocus of this camera works, how uh, how smoothly the wheels move but you know of course that's not gonna happen so there it is it's working just fine and now I'm gonna move on to the y-axis